ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு தி ஸ்னோ ப்ரோ கோர் சர்டிஃபிகேஷன் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் வீடியோஸ் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் வாட் ஆர் ஆல் தி வேரியஸ் ஸ்னோ ஃப்ளேக் எடிஷன்ஸ் விச் ஆர் அவைலபிள் திஸ் வீடியோ இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஃப்ரம் தி எக்ஸாம் பாயிண்ட் ஆஃப் வியூ ஒய் பிகாஸ் யூ கேன் எக்ஸ்பெக்ட் லாட் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் at least some decent amount of questions which talks about various snowflake editions which support which features on snowflake so that is very important from the exam point of view so uh, you need to watch this video multiple times to have a strong hold on this specific subject area without further ado let us move on first i just wanted to convey some important things about this video this video is more of an information point of view video meaning there is no more of technical things which are going to be discussed so understanding this is bit tricky meaning we need to memorize some of these things which are provided in this video i am a uh, bit skeptical and i am mostly against the memorization techniques uh, i am it is like i am i am not that much interested to memorize something so that uh, i can know about it uh, that is completely against my logic so that is the reason why i put together memorization is rarely evil and rarely necessary okay how i can do that there are some techniques which is prevalent over the world some of the techniques is all about repetitive study meaning if you want to retain some amount of information on our brain that can be done by reading the same thing or retaining the same information again and again by doing so our brain can retain that information for longer duration of time that is very well explained in this graph if you can see memory retention and weeks if you read more say like once in a week you keep on learning about the same concepts you can have the more tendency to memorizing those specific things similarly this is the another graph which talks about the retention again within the first 9 hours we are almost losing 60 percentage of the learning content say whenever we read something or learn something after 9 hours almost 60 percentage of the contents will be wiped off from our brain so we need to have some mechanism in place so that we can memorize or we can have a retention in our brain for longer duration of time all right now moving on to what are all the various major editions of snowflake which are currently available currently snowflake is providing us with four major versions which is called a standard enterprise business critical and vps which is virtual private snowflake standard is the base version from snowflake if you can see we already discussed each and every warehouse is charged based on something called as credit here they are charging 2 dollar per credit for standard 3 dollar per credit for enterprise and 4 dollar per credit for business critical and for vps as it is the advanced version of snowflake we need to contact the snowflake business team fine now this one uh, how i can remember uh, as we know four is very finite number that we can remember standard enterprise business critical and vps now it's like uh, there is some some important things uh, if you can go to the higher versions of the editions of snowflake you can see the previous version plus meaning if i am using enterprise version of snowflake all the features which are available within standard is available to me plus specific features of enterprise similarly if you take business critical all the enterprise features are available to me plus business critical specific features similarly vps all features of business critical is available plus the features of vps so the higher versions of snowflake is having all the previous version features right that is very important to know standard version of snowflake is mentioned here it is a simple introductory version of the snowflake which holds all these standard features it provides the strong balance between features and level of support and cost this is the basic version enterprise version is as i mentioned provides all the features of standard along with some features which are specifically designed for the need for large scale enterprises and organizations business critical provides all features of enterprise plus it provides lot of features for data security and typical regulations if you see hipa heat trust csf regulations and then the esd regulations phi data all these data security regulations and data protection mechanisms are available to us in the form of the business critical and then the vps is the most secure version of snowflake which provides an completely separated snowflake environment for us 
that is very important to know completely separated snowflake environment meaning the vps accounts of snowflake is only dedicated for those specific accounts that is very very important it's like it do not share any resources with the accounts outside of vps fine now moving on to futures what are all the futures which we can compare between all these four versions again snowflake provides us with a decent documentation which contains all these futures i will be adding the link for this specific documentation in the description of this video please go through this documentation give some time to it try to understand if you can see these are all the different features release management security governance data protection compute resource management sql support it goes on and on like that and again it is pretty hard for anyone to know all these things but from the exam point of view if you look at it they will be asking some questions like what features are specific to specific version of snowflake for example if i can take extended time travel up to 90 days it is available only from the enterprise version of snowflake on the standard version of snowflake it is not available so there might be a question in the exam which asks about which version of snowflake will provide the extended time travel for up to 90 days you can get an answer options like standard enterprise business critical and vps enterprise can be the wisest choice for that question so what i did here is like i just took those specific contents out of the documentation which are very important for us and then i put together in the form of this presentation so now we are going to compare whatever which is there starting from the release management feature if you see release management snowflake is release using features once in a week typically once in a day as well so what they are trying to say if you are looking for an 12 hour early access meaning whatever the weekly new releases which is given by snowflake uh, sorry it's a weekly release snowflake is releasing the newer versions or newer upgrades once in a week so it's a weekly new releases so if you want 12 hour early access to those then you must have at least the enterprise version right so if you want 24 hour early access then you need to have vps version so this is very important to know why because if you want access to the specific feature before other people is going to have then say in, when you take the standard version of snowflake it will be available at the time once it is available but if you want it 12 hours before then you need to have an enterprise version similarly 24 hours before you need to have the vps version right moving on security governance and data protection uh, this is something which is very big in list but we need to understand it as we already discussed extended time travel is the enterprise only feature that is very important to know see uh, it's like as simple as it is you just know wherever it is moving from cross mark to tick mark that is very important all ticks no problem at all so if if you are uh, if, if you are looking for answer options that is how you need to get into say if they are asking for extended time travel up to 90 days typically it can be the enterprise is the correct answer for that specific question periodic rekeying of encrypted data again if you can see that is also the enterprise version column level security applying the masking policies to columns and tables or views no need to worry about all these things we are going to cover in detail about all these things in the subsequent videos but as of now try to understand this specific concept alone column level security is again an enterprise level version row level security is again an enterprise level object tagging to apply tags to snowflake objects is again an enterprise level support for classifying potentially sensitive data using classification mechanisms that is also again an enterprise level if you want to do the user access history through account usage table access history view that is also only available on enterprise version of snowflake these are all the metadata tables and views which is available within the account uh, history and also on the information schema anyway we are going to discuss more about it in the subsequent videos that is only available in the enterprise version of snowflake moving on in the same category if you see customer managed encryption key through 
ட்ரை சீக்ரெட் செக்யூர் திஸ் இஸ் சம்திங் விச் இஸ் ட்ரிக்கி நவ் யூ கேன் சி ஆல் எக்ஸ் மார்க்ஸ் இன் தி என்டர்பிரைஸ் வேர்ஷன்ஸ் திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் அவைலபிள் ஓன்லி ஆன் தி பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் வேர்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஸ்னோ ஃப்ளேக் ஸோ ட்ரை சீக்ரெட் செக்யூர் இஸ் தி பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் வேர்ஷன் ஃபியூச்சர் ரைட் சப்போஸ் டு பிரைவேட் கனெக்டிவிட்டி ஸ்னோ ஃப்ளேக் பிரைவேட் லிங்க் அண்ட் தென் ஏடபிள்யூஎஸ் பிரைவேட் லிங்க் அஷூர் பிரைவேட் லிங்க் ஜிசிபி பிரைவேட் லிங்க் சர்வீஸ் கனெக்ட் எவ்ரி திங் இஸ் அவைலபிள் ஓன்லி ஆன் பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் வேர்ஷன் எகைன் பிரைவேட் கனெக்டிவிட்டி யூசிங் ஆல் தீஸ் திங்ஸ் பிரைவேட் லிங்க் இன்டர்னல் ஸ்டேஜஸ் ஸ்னோ ஃப்ளேக் இன்டர்னல் ஸ்டேஜஸ் டு பிரைவேட் லிங்க் எகைன் பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் சப்போர்ட் ஃபார் பிஹெச்ஐ டேட்டா விச் வி ஆல்ரெடி சா ஹிப்பா ஹிட்ரஸ்ட் கம்ப்ளைன்ஸ் இஸ் ஓன்லி பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் சப்போர்ட் ஃபார் பிசிஐ டிஎஸ்எஸ் இஸ் ஓன்லி பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் சப்போர்ட் ஃபார் பப்ளிக் செக்டர் ஒர்க் லோட்ஸ் இன் லைக் யூஎஸ் ஃபெடரல் கவர்மெண்ட் ஃபெட்ராம் அண்ட் ஐடிஏஆர் இட் இஸ் எகைன் பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் ஸோ இஃப் யூ கேன் சி மோர் செக்யூரிட்டி இஸ் ஆடட் இன் தி லேயர் ஆஃப் தி பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் தட் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் எகைன் மூவிங் ஆன் டு தி ஃபைனல் ஸ்டெப் சப்போர்ட் ஃபார் ஐஆர்ஏபி எகைன் ப்ரொடக்டட் டேட்டா இன் தி ஏஷியா பசிபிக் ரீஜன்ஸ் இட்ஸ் அ பிஸ்னஸ் கிரிட்டிக்கல் ஆப்ஷன் ஃபைனலி டெடிக்கேட்டட் மெட்டா டேட்டா ஸ்டோர் அண்ட் பூல் ஆஃப் கம்ப்யூட் ரிசோர்சஸ் யூஸ்ட் இன் விர்ச்சுவல் வேரோசஸ் தட் இஸ் தி விபிஎஸ் ஆப்ஷன் திஸ் இஸ் தி ஓன்லி திங் விச் இஸ் டெடிக்கேட்டட் டு விபிஎஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் டு நோ ப்ளீஸ் மேக் அ நோட் ஆஃப் இட் ரைட் அண்ட் தென் மூவிங் ஆன் டு தி கம்ப்யூட் ரிசோர்ஸ் ரிக்யர்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஹியர் ஒன் ஃபியூச்சர் இஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் மல்டி கிளஸ்டர் விர்ச்சுவல் வேரோசஸ் திஸ் வி ஆல்ரெடி சா இன் தி ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ இட் இஸ் ஆல் அபவுட் ஸ்கேலிங் அவுட் மல்டிபிள் விர்ச்சுவல் வேரோசஸ் ஸ்கேலிங் இஸ் அவைலபிள் ஓன்லி ஃப்ரம் தி என்டர்பிரைஸ் வெர்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஸ்னோ ஃப்ளேக் இஃப் யூ ஆர் யூசிங் ஸ்டாண்டர்ட் வெர்ஷன் ஆஃப் ஸ்னோ ஃப்ளேக் தி மல்டி கிளஸ்டர் விர்ச்சுவல் வேரோசஸ் இஸ் நாட் அவைலபிள் moving on moving on to sql support this is again very important api gateway amazon api gateway private endpoints for external functions is available only from the business critical version query acceleration feature this is one of the feature of snowflake query acceleration for parallel processing portions of eligible queries is an enterprise only feature search optimization again search optimization for point lookup queries with automated maintenance is again an enterprise only feature materialized views materialized views or again an enterprise only future most of the things most of the critical features of snowflake falls under the enterprise category if you can remember whatever which we discussed so far most of the security related things falls under the business critical vps is very very unique right so these things are very important from the exam point of view please make a note of it actually and then data replication and failover this is another important point to remember failover and fallback between the snowflake accounts that is available only only on the business critical version very tricky one to note please make a note of it failover and fallback between snowflake accounts is only available on business critical again redirecting client connections between snowflake accounts and business continuity for disaster recovery that is also available only on the business critical version of the snowflake this failover capabilities are available on business critical only that is very important to know right coming on to the data sharing this is not something which is very very important for the exam but just to understand if you can see all these are tick marks in first three and it is not ticked on vps meaning this data sharing features is not mostly natively supported by vps but snowflake is telling we can enable this feature with vps as well that's the reason why i just put together no need to go through each and everything over there but we need to know data sharing is not natively supported by vps but it can be supported it can be added to the vps version as well so that is very important but we cannot expect more of a questions from the exam point of view on this specific data sharing futures topic so with this we come to end of this video i hope this is informative for you please do make a note of it as i already mentioned take notes for this specific section write it in your notes keep on reading it for a longer duration of time that will help you to retain the information please do make comments for this video that will be very informative for me to enhance the course contents as well right thank you very much for watching this video